New here at 6 o'clock, we continue our coverage of the Nashville school shooting, leaving three children and three adults dead. The Nashville police releasing this video today from inside the school. You can see officers making their way through the hallway here. Well, earlier today, we sat down with a local sheriff to watch it scene by scene. I'm very impressed with the uh, with the training, um, considering what we saw around the country over the past few years. Uh, this here is almost a textbook type of scenario, uh, the way it played out. I want to go ahead and start here at the beginning with officers first arriving, getting out of the vehicle here. You mentioned it before, we have a teacher administrator standing at the front door. Here she is about to give them some information. We're all locked down, but we have two kids that we don't know where they are. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. How crucial is somebody like that to be there to communicate to officers getting on scene? It's very crucial that we have someone that can meet the officers outside, and every scenario is certainly is different. Uh, maybe the scene is, is so chaotic or so dangerous that this is not always possible. But again, this is a textbook uh, example. This is what we want when we get there, is have that administrator come out, uh, tell us what they've got, give us a quick assessment overview, and that just literally took just a few seconds that she said all of our kids are on lockdown. Uh, we've got two kids unaccounted for. Let's go. I need three. One more. One more. Okay, with him yelling three, you hear someone yell four. This kind of communication, you said this has evolved over time. It has. Uh, several years ago, we would wait until you had three or four officers so you could go in, preferably with four officers in a diamond formation. But as these shootings have evolved over the years, we realized that seconds are precious. And so we changed that training. And now it's uh, you, you have the first officer on the scene, you're trained to go. You don't wait for additional officers. You go in, you're trying to locate that threat. If you hear the gunshots, you are to run to those gunshots, and our goal is to, again, try to neutralize that threat uh, and then take that threat out if possible. And uh, obviously, you know, in most cases when you go to clear a room, in, in best case scenario, you like to have multiple officers to help clear that room. It makes it safer. But we also understand that we're talking about kids' lives here, and, and what we do for normal house clearing or business clearing um, we do just the opposite of that when it comes to clearing the school where children are involved. At this point, as they've entered the school, they've just heard reports of, of, from the administrator that there's been gunshots, but they themselves, being on scene, they have not heard any gunshots. So they're going to go to every open door and they're going to clear that. And what you see is there's two officers that go into a room to clear it, and the other two officers are maintaining cover out in the hallway. Uh, that way, if they, the, the bad guy turns the corner, uh, they're able to engage them, and then it protects these guys while they're in here sweeping and clearing this particular classroom. Open door. At this point, they've heard the gunshots, and it sounds like it's upstairs, and they're quickly moving to the stairwell to, to go towards the sound of the gunfire. And even with the body camera, it's still hard to hear those gunshots, uh, much less trying to determine and pinpoint exactly where they may be on the second floor. So I think these guys did a phenomenal job. <laughs> Some people may watch this and say there was no interaction, there was no drop the weapon or anything like that. Is there enough time to be able to have that in that situation? There's nothing that says that you have to do all those things. Um, when people watch these videos after an officer involved shooting, uh, they have the luxury of not having their adrenaline up and just watching it and critiquing things. In this case here, uh, they know that this individual is responsible for shooting several people already. Uh, the officers don't know whether the, the individuals are alive or dead, but they knew that that was the threat that had engaged the people in the school, and their job was to stop and eliminate that threat. Um, the fact that they didn't say, you know, uh, drop your weapon and try to negotiate, um, that is, that's really, in my opinion, that's really irrelevant in this case. They stopped the threat. Uh, the person clearly saw officers in, in uniform. Uh, that clearly you can see they're police officers, and uh, if they didn't drop that weapon, then they return fire like they should have. Now you can hear much more from Sheriff Mueller on our website, foxcarolina.com. We also talked to him and asked him what more can be done to prevent tragedies like this.